everybody, Cindy A. Lewis here, and thanks for joining today. As you can see, I have in my hand, uh, watch my finger, um, I have a package of little bags that I like to use for all my giveaways and different mailings and everything. Well, what comes in there is a little packaging, and I thought, well, why not? As you saw in the title of the video, let's upcycle this and make it something kind of fun. And I thought, well, you can make these for gifts for your friends or teacher. Just really something simple and you're upcycling. If you don't happen to have these types of cardboards, um, maybe, then you can make one just out of some craft paper or some cardstock. So we're gonna measure, I'm gonna show you how to make it. And we're gonna add a little notepad in here and a little pen, and it's gonna be so cute. So let's get busy with it. So what you'll need for this uh, DIY, if you don't have like some treat bags that you bought and, and you don't have a little upcycle, piece of cardboard inside your treat bag. Um, you can measure out a, one of these and make it a five by five sheet of cardstock or five, yeah, five by five, five and a half by five, something like that, and then score a half an inch in the middle. So we're gonna do both. Um, you can use anything that you want to, to decorate it but you gotta start right here. And this one has just a little bent right here, but you can see in the middle, there is like a little lip that's just conducive to having um, a little pad of paper in here or a pocket on the side. And we're gonna put a little place for a pen. Now these little mini gel pens are from Dollar Tree and I've been giving them away or using them in different crafts. So you can see I have about six of them left. There were 10 in a package for a dollar. And also I have some headbands or you could use elastic or you could even use a little ponytail holder, whatever you want. And that's to put your pen. So we're going to put the pen here and then we're going to cover this with some pretty papers. I'm going to leave the, um, the spine, if you will, to be natural, so whatever color my base is. But upcycling this is really fun and easy to cover this, and so let's get busy with that. Oh, you'll also need some paper to put inside. Okay, what I have is some papers that are six by six from uh, Amazon, and it's some real pretty Christmas papers. I'll just show you real quick, and I believe they're in my Amazon uh, store. But it's single-sided, which is perfect for this type of project. And it's really vintage looking, which you know, I love the vintage look. So I'm just gonna take, I'm just gonna take the first one. Doesn't really matter. Uh, maybe I'll take the snowflakes. How about that? Let's do that first. All right, so I'm gonna take the snowflakes and we're gonna measure what size this page is. And we want it to be about uh, we want to cut our papers about a quarter of an inch smaller. So, oh, I have it upside down. There we go. So it measures about almost two and a half, uh, probably a little bit less than two and a half. So if we measure our paper to be about two and a quarter, I think we'll be good. And then the length is going to be about four and three quarters. So we measure four and a half. All right, so I just wrote it here. The base, this whole base is about four and three quarters by five and a quarter. So if you want to, you know, make it square, you could do that if you wanted to. Then the front panel measures about two and a half by four and three quarters. So the back panel would also be the same. So would the inside panels. So we're gonna cover all of them. So I'm just gonna use this cute snowflake paper and we're gonna cut it down. What I like to do is cut about a quarter of an inch smaller than the panel size that I need. You can see I was using this for something else. So it was two and a half. I'm going to cut this two and a quarter. And I need two of these. And this is gonna be four and a half. 
So before I do anything else, I just wanna show you that this is going to measure and fit on here with a little matte and layer look. And that'll be cute. At, so I need four panels, okay? I have four panels here for my four panels inside and outside and inside. Now, another thing that I'm gonna use is some paper, and that paper is gonna be um, put on the inside of my, so it's gonna be a paper pad with a little pen as a gift. And of course, you could personalize these if you wanted to. So I just got this paper from Dollar Tree. It measures three and a half by five and a half, five inches. So it's a little bit long. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it off where this cardboard is and see how thick that is right here and if it fits. See, it fits really perfectly right in that spine. So we're not gonna, we're gonna actually glue the cardboard to this so we might not cover that side, but we need to make this fit inside this panel. And in order to do that, we need to trim it. And one of the easiest ways to do that is with a ruler and a blade. Now you want a, you want a uh, very sh sharp blade and you need to know where you need to trim your paper. So we measured, remember, we measured that our front panel is two and a half inches. So we need this to be about two and a half inches or two and um, a quarter. We wanna make it fit just a little bit uh, inside. So I've got my two and a half here and I'm just gonna put a little pencil mark let me grab my pencil. I'm just gonna put my pencil mark here and then I'm gonna put my pencil mark here. Now you don't have to do this. You could put anything in there that you want to, but I'm just gonna hold my ruler down, get this as straight as I can with my two marks. And then I'm just gonna take my blade and run through all these layers and it just takes a little bit and a little patience and you just make your own size pad of paper. So when you get through, you have another pad that you could use for something else. So make sure you do cut that on a, a self-healing mat or a cutting board or something that you like. All right, so I'm gonna check this out here and it fits pretty perfect in here. Um, it's a little bit long, so I actually could trim this off. So I think I'll do that off camera. Okay, so trim that up. Got all my extra sheets here. And right, so we've got our paper pad ready to go. Looks really cute in there and it's gonna look great with the blue and uh, white papers. All right, so I'm gonna set that aside, that's ready to go. Now, before we glue anything in, you have to decide what kind of elastic band you want for your pen, and then you need to um, decide how big it needs to be. So I'm just gonna use black. It doesn't need to stand out for me. So I'm just gonna cut, and I'm gonna snip this off right here. And I'm not going to use the brown, I'm going to use black. And this is sort of a nice thickness. It's not too thick, but yet it'll hold your pen in place about this size. And you can glue it in with hot glue if you like, or you can sew it in whichever way you want Take to. out your pen that you're going to put with it. Let's just do this um, black one here. Let's do this little black one. I wish I had a blue one, but I don't. All right, so you want this to fit around your pins. I'm gonna hot glue it in instead of sew it in. So you just need to decide where you want your piece to go. 
and you're going to glue in one side and you're going to glue in the other side before you lay in your papers or your pad. While you wait for your hot glue gun to heat up like me, I'm going to go ahead and go around the edges to give this a vintage look, my vintageizing, and just go around the edges on the inside and the outside because the paper, of course, doesn't go all the way to the edge. All right, so I'm just gonna put a little hot glue here for my band to adhere to. I wanna give it a good amount. And this is about in the middle here. So careful not to burn yourself. Okay, so then I'm gonna take my hot glue. And I don't really want a bubble of glue. I just want enough to hold it down. Okay, there we go. Now we are gonna glue over that. Okay, so the next thing that we do wanna do is put in, um, we can put in our pad of paper or we can go ahead and cover our pages. I'm just gonna cover the pages. I've got my Kalal glue. So somebody said they didn't understand what I said on the video Saturday. So it's Kalal glue. It's an alcohol-based glue. You can use any glue that you like. I just like this glue for matting and layering papers. You can use tacky glue, Tombow Mono Aqua liquid glue. You can use um, any Fabri-Tac, whatever you like to use for your journals, um, just whatever. So, but this is the one that I really like. So this is gonna be my front and I do like the, the liquid glue for the ability to move it around and get it just where you want it. Then on this back piece, I'm gonna put this one down. And just know that your band is under this one, so you wanna give it a little bit of extra glue on the side where the band will be, just like this. Okay, and I'm just gonna hold that down a minute. All right, then we'll put the paper on the inside. And I am gonna put a pocket on this inside as well, just because I like to do that. I like pockets, if you didn't know. And so we're gonna put this here. And then on the inside, we again, don't need a paper because we have our pad. So I am gonna use this glue to stick down this cardboard backing for my papers, but you could use, again, the hot glue if you wanna do that. But this is a really good adhesive and it will hold really well. It's just gotta work in there. And then you can see how your pad is coming together. It's a really cute idea to do this, especially to upcycle from a paper treat bag, you know, just, it's just totally different. So what you wanna do then is decorate it a bit. And since this is Christmassy, I wanna put something Christmassy on it and put that down. It's got a little bit of an aged look on it now. And then uh, if you wanted to add like any snowflakes, let's see how they look might look all right. You wouldn't have to put anyone's name on it if you didn't want to, but you could, and you could actually do even more than that if you wanted to. So pretty easy, simple. Um, just get your measurements and let's get one more snowflake on here, I think, with these pretty, with that with the background snowflakes and maybe one going off the side, another small one, because the book is small. Let's go right here. And I'm gonna cut this one off right 
here. So it looks like it's going off the paper. Really cute. Really cute gift. I'm going to put a little pocket on the inside. I just want to just put a little pocket here. And there you go. Uh, this is my little notebook gift. And it has the little pocket that I put in. I made a little tag to go in it. It has the notepad. And then a little mini pen. You know, that's really cute. And this would be a great gift for like teachers or anything like that. Plus, you are using, you know, up uh, some cardboard that would be thrown so away. I hope that you enjoyed this uh, craft. That you'll take some of your trash and turn it into someone's treasure. And thanks so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed it. Happy crafting.